Thessalonians. The scary scripture. <laughs> Don't go over there. Say Thessalonians. <laughs> and then the book of Revelation. Ooh, stay away from those places. Things happen. You know, scriptures historically, his, as it relates historically, I'm going to make this brass bold statement, but if your spirit is whole and healthy, you don't understand what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I'm not saying that we're, there's some things in it that's not yet to be fulfilled. But historically, the historical events that we're looking forward to are consummated. Mm -hmm. Now we are looking for spiritual fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. The Bible is the letter without the spirit. But when the spirit and the word becomes one, it gives life. And most Pope people haven't learned to move beyond what's tabulated, what's been recorded, and then allow it to actually become a part of our being. It was personified that Jesus is the Word made flesh. Your, your Bible, my Bible, all of our Bible can agree with what If you didn't understand what I said before, we can't agree that Jesus was the volume of the book. Right? He, he is the Bible of the book. And uh, I believe in many circles, we've tried to place certain things in certain cycles and have not known that theology itself has done harm to us. Eschatology has totally robbed us. But Christology is the highest order of interpreting the scriptures. And you don't hear that shared in seminarian circles. You don't hear it shared in mainline denominations. Everybody contends with theology, the study of God. But there's no contention when Christology is your, is your goal. The stu we study Christ. And how, how many can agree with that? Yeah, that's, that's what we're here for. That's your journey is to discover Christ. You can't get to the Father without Christ. Jesus said, no man can come to the Father but through me. So Christology is important. Am I right? That is the lens in which we can interpret not only the inspiration of God, but the restoration of God. Not only the mouth of God, but the hand of God to get things done. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to need you. Uh, not that I need you to confirm it, but I need you to be a, as, a, uh, as a witness to what I'm about to say. And I got to shake you out of some stuff, garbage that's been heaped upon us. And I, and I believe God is he's sobering us up as we're learning from Wednesday nights and then the thieves. He's sobering us up so that we can become everything that God intended for us to be. Amen. 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 I, I want to be everything God intended me to be. I'm sorry. I, I just believe it. I want it. I crave it. I live it. I, it's always in the front of my mind. It's always in my heart. And I, I want us to be a, as well. Okay? So I'm going to talk Christology. Tell your neighbor Christology. Christology. Ain't got nothing to do with theology. Ain't got nothing to do with eschatology. Ain't nothing to do with end time. I'm, we're going to talk about Christ. And one of the best places to find out if Christology is correct is in Luke 24. Jesus interrupted a conversation about eschatology. <laughs> Y'all look at me funny. The road to Emmaus. They were on the road, two guys. One of them had a name, the other one was nameless. Cleopas? Am I right? So we got relatives, one of us, somebody in here got relatives named Cleopas. <laughs> but his name means father. 
His name means father. So an aged man still didn't have the conversation that was necessary. But as they began to cry one to another, it created an atmosphere where Jesus showed up. Am I right? Out of their conversation, Jesus showed up. I don't, I'm, just, I'm just hoping that everybody has Sunday school and we read our Bible. Well, I'm paraphrasing. I'm giving you in a, in a, in a, in a nutshell. Okay? Trust me. Okay? And he told them, he called them old foolish. Because they thought what transpired in Jerusalem was the totality of the volume of the book. Am I right? But he said, no, no, no. They are which testify me. Talked about Moses, the law, and the prophets. So the scroll that they read, and they were intrigued and they even missed his visitation when he showed up, the one who personified the very thing that the, the law and the prophets testified of, he told them it was about me. And I'm telling you this morning, it's always been about him. A nation was able to carry the seed Natural Israel carried the seed, but it was all about him. It had nothing to do, per se, with the container, with, with a nation that was natural. It has nothing to do with any of those things. God chose them to be the first representation and the earnest and the down payment of something what he was going to do with all of humanity. So we're not trying to Study theology. I'm, I'm done with theology. I've studied. I've read books. I've gone through my classes. We're going to have a school. Amen. It's going to be accredited. You're going to be accredited. You'll be able to apply the teaching and the training. Myself and some other people that's going to be sharing. Amen. <laughs> and they all are like-minded. They're not theologians. Amen. Per se. Because I got news for you. Most seminaries will teach you what not to believe. That's right. That's right. That's right. Most churches will teach you what not to believe. What not to do. Most of them jokers were not filled with the Holy Spirit. Most of your eschatology and theology came from evangelicals that didn't believe in the Spirit. We were called holy rollers. They had nothing to do with us. So it was void of the Spirit of God. Yet, in order for us to understand the, the Bible as it relates to theology, we have to go to a whole system that is anemic and bastardized in, as, in its relationship with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so we haven't been correctly circumcised in our heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in our ears yeah. and we resisted the work of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. so we believe everything that they would market to us yes. without inquiry yes. but now we're in the season of reformation mm -hmm. yeah. fivefold ministry is in the earth mm -hmm. yeah. and we're being educated as it relates to both the word and the spirit Amen. Amen. We've been educated how? Word. Word and the Spirit. It is a marriage. And like I often say, what God has joined together, Word and Spirit, it was in the beginning of Genesis. It was in, at the end of the scripture in the book of Revelation 22. Let no man, no theology, put us on. I had to set the backdrop because I'm going to go some places. I started on last week, I, I, I kind of felt, the, you know, like, okay, and most of us, we've been exposed to this line of thought, am I right? It's pretty easy for us, we've got some new faces, so I had to walk gingerly, you know, like Ruth, uh, not Ruth, yeah, it was Ruth, had to, when she went to, uh, down to the threshing floor, she had to walk softly, so sometimes when you minister, you have to walk softly, because you get wrote off. If it don't register right. 
They'd be like, give me Barabbas! <laughs> Remember? <laughs> it was like, Hosanna! Say now, I beseech you. Then when he didn't yeah. comply to what they wanted, they said, give us Barabbas! So when you go counter-cultural, people don't want what's going to help them. They're going to work what's comfortable for them. All right, so let's go to 2 Thessalonians. I'm going to repeat some of the statements I made last week. Take my time because this is going to be a precursor to some where we're going uh, as it relates to next year. I got some things I want to share for next year. Amen. 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 And I want to Amen. set the climate. <laughs> All right. Okay, 2 Thessalonians verse 1. 2 Thessalonians 2. Second Thessalonians 2. Yeah, first one. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> but the screen is blank. I'm like, I got a blank mind. I'm trying to make sure. Okay, yeah, Second Thessalonians 2. Se okay. Second Thessalonians. <laughs> the second chapter. Verse 1. We will start. Now. Let me quit. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together into, not unto, mm -hmm. into him. Into who? Yeah. Him. He says, he says, into him. And I ain't gonna repeat myself from last week. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you got to get the first take, but uh, <laughs> yeah. We, we, most of us think that's the rapture. That's okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together into him and I